After one of the best years they've ever had, thanks to great weather, a great growing season, and people desperate for safe things to do, apple growers across North Georgia were hoping for another great year. Unfortunately though, thanks to Mother Nature and her late freeze, that isn't the case. If you take a stroll up through the North Georgia mountains this time of year, there's a few things you're guaranteed to see. Beautiful mountains, and apple market after apple market stocked with this year's apples. One of those markets is B.J. Reese Orchards, a family farm that's been around for decades. My dad started the orchard in the early 60s, and then he sold me and my wife the farm, owner financed us the farm in 95, and we've been doing it ever since. He's still involved in operations, and we have about 230 acres of apple trees. A lot of those are new trees we planted in the last two or three, four years and we're planting new varieties every year and we we keep expanding our operation. We've added agritourism to our farm so we have a lot of activities for the families to come out and do on the weekends. Though things seem to be going well so far, it hasn't been an easy year for them thanks to a late freeze in the spring that devastated this year's crop and will cut their U-pick short. Easter week we had some cold weather. It got down to 25, 26 degrees for 12 hours and it killed a lot of the blooms. It, uh, when the frost sets on the bloom, it kills and freezes, it kills the apple. It don't kill your tree, but it just kills the apple. So we lost a lot of apples. We have six different orchards, and some of the orchards it killed 100% in, but this orchard that we're standing in now, it killed about 50% of it. So uh, we have enough you pick apples to do for, for the month of September. However, they're still optimistic given how 2020, perhaps the most challenging year for most people, went for them. Reese said that last year was one of the best they've ever had thanks to them having a safe option for people to enjoy. Yes, last year it, it, it drove business up a little bit because the more families got out. It was good timing for us because that was about the time people was getting tired of being shut up and they was looking for stuff to do outside. So. You know, it sort of helped our business last year. With this year's season just getting started, they're unsure how it will turn out. But Reese believes that families will again be looking for something to do outdoors. It's hard to tell because our U-Pick just started, so we don't know how it's going to play out the next two or three, four weeks. But, uh, you know, it's affected us on the inside some, but on the outside, I think families are looking for something to do on the outside because it's safe for families to come and not be around other people. There's a lot of people here, but they're, they can social distance. There's plenty of room to social distance. You can find a map of orchards in the state at gfb.org. Just click on the Outreach tab in the Certified Farm Markets menu. Reporting in LJ for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.